Okay guys, I know I don't put out a lot of nurse videos, but the developers have essentially buffed my nurse build with their PTB changes, so I feel like I need to make a video on it just to prove a point. The most notable change to the build is they added a secondary effect to the Prick Lethal Pursuer, and now reveals the duration of auras by an additional 2 seconds, which on the nurse can be very powerful, as the next two pricks are all about aura reading. Barbecue and Chili reveals the aura of survivors for 4 seconds, and now up to 6 seconds thanks to the Lethal Pursuer, after hooking survivor if anyone is far away from the hook whenever we go to hook someone. Although, can we just give Barbecue and Chili a moment of silence, as it no longer provides bonus blood points for hooking survivors, which is really unfortunate. Anyways, the next perk is Floods of Rage. After survivors unhook from a Skirchuk, all other survivors are revealed to you for 7 seconds, now up to 9 seconds with Lethal Pursuer. And lastly is Pain Resonance. Although slightly nerfed, it is basically just to slow the game down with its explosion effect, and because it pairs very well with Floods of Rage. And yeah, let's hop into the gameplay with our increased aura reading effects. Alright, we get Wretched Shop, an auto haven map. This could actually be really good for the nurse, at least I hope so. And straight off the bat, I already see survivors. Come here, survivors. Nice. God, that lethal pursuer value is so good on the nurse. Alright, where are you going, Felix? Ooh, nice. He actually dead hearted just in time. Unfortunately, though, he didn't get hit by it, so he doesn't get any distance on us whatsoever. Oh, no. I got caught in the corner of the killer shack. That's so unlucky. He's leaving the killer shack altogether. Very nice. Try to double back. Give me a fake it. Nice. Nice. Hey, there we go. Wait for my second blink. Nice. Excellent. Swish and flick. And we're still within range to get us close to a screw chuck, which is really nice. Aw, Nancy. Any second she gave up. Thought that was going to happen. What's up? Sorry, Dwight. Am I crazy or did I just simply get lost? Nice. That was a lucky little second brilliant projection, which I was very lucky to land. Is me or is barbecue and chili bug? Because I, like, I barely see anyone whatsoever on these generators. Or did they just increase the brightness intensity of the generator aura? Which could also be the case. Bloods of Rage, thank you. Ooh, that was... That was kind of an iffy hit, honestly. But that's why I really love Floods of Rage, is basically just for the chase power that it gives you as the nurse. Oh my god. That was unlucky. Oh, this is some good aura reading. There you go, but I think I'm going to try to go for the Claudette. Hello, Claudette. Nice to see you. Ooh, nice. Okay, she didn't double back. Interesting. I thought for sure she would have gone back around for the pallet. Iron Wheel Gamer, by the way. And thanks to Fledge of Rage, I knew she committed to going between these two walls right here. I hear Felix on the other side of this wall. Have you given up? I think you have. Oh, decisive strike. Three second decisive strike. Oh my god. That was such a short duration of a stun. Holy moly. Felix, why aren't you running off the record? Off the record is clearly superior to decisive strike nowadays. Nice little second prediction blink thing right there. Wonderful. 
Go back. Ooh. Unfortunately, we were too fast for him to react with dead hard. Ladet, I see you, thanks to barbecue and chili. Ooh, so close. Yeah, just not close enough. I think if I had the second range out on, I probably would have gotten her. Nice. And that is GG's right there. On to the next game. Okay, family residence, the Yamoka State. Let the game begin. Let's see, I see one person over there, one over there, and two over there. I'm going to go for this one person over by the corner area. Hello there, you are the Leon. Get one tag on you already, nice. Give my second blink to fully recharge. Nice. Now the next thing is, do I have any Skirtricks nearby? That's the next question. I think I can get to that Skirtrick right there. I think I should be able to. As long as no one has the new saboteur to allow them to sabotage these skirt hooks now that they can see which ones are skirt hooks, I'll be good. Don't really see anyone with barbecue and chili. So now it's time to explore the map, more or less. Hello there, Hattie. Nice to see you. Don't even need floods of rage for this. Oh my god. That flick, though. That hitch probably shouldn't connect it there, but I'm taking it. Let's see. One, two... I don't see anyone else. I just see the... Oh no, I saw the third person. And which survivor are you, Nancy? Hello there, Nancy. Nice to see you. They tried to 360 you, but at the same time, I'm like, it doesn't really work that way. Unlucky. Number one tip, do not camp pallets against the nurse. Like, 95% of the time, it will not work out the way you want it to, if you're the survivor. Let's see, one person over there in that corner. Oh, and they ran right into me. It is the Megan. I have to that up, actually. Damn, that two extra seconds of aura reading. It's so good. Like, two seconds is literally the difference between you going in and out of fatigue and getting your second blink back in order to charge up again. Let's see. Oh, hello there, survivors. Don't mind me. Just checking on my patience, making sure you have off the record. Okay. Yes. This is why I will never take off Skirtrick Floods of Rage on the nurse, ever. Ever, 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 ever. Just so good. It gives you so much value on it. Uh oh, hello, survivors. Nice. I kind of want to leave Meg alone because I feel like I've already gone after her enough. Eh, maybe not. What's the rage? Where are the survivors? I legit didn't see anybody else other than these two people over here. Oh, that... Ooh, that was a janky hit. Come here, Hattie. Oh, she had dead her that entire time. Oh my goodness. That was a good attempt at doub doubling back, but unfortunately, it did not work out for you. The barbecue and chili again. I feel like they changed or did something to the aura reading without like mentioning in the developer update. 
Like, I feel like they've done that before, but I'm like, with this update, it's a little more noticeable. If this continues, I think barbecue and chili might be relegated to a somewhat useless perk. Meanwhile, I will just go off with Legends of Rage information. Which I have barely any. Hi, Nancy, what's up? God, I love the range add-ons in the nurse. They make her so much fun. Nancy. I was about to say, we're going to do a round two with the pallet again. Nope. Not this time. We're still at five generators, by the way. Hattie's at the killer shack, so I know she's fine. And this should be the Meg if I had to guess correctly. I saw someone working on this generator. Meg. There you are. Ooh, that was so close, actually. Good little double back right there. Save your life. Okay, then. I wasn't sure if I intentionally missed that or if that was actually, what's it called, auto-aim. Come here, Megan. What are you doing, Nancy? If that doesn't concern you, child. I did manage to get that generator done, but gave away the location. Ooh. Let's see. Aw, oh, darn. If I had gone to the other side, I probably would have gotten him. That was my miscalculation of the blink range. And my lack of intentional lunge. I legit thought I could hit him with just a basic attack instead of actually doing a full-on lunge. Why did I hear... Nancy, what are you doing? Why is that Nancy that act weird? And now Hattie's involved. What is with everyone acting weird? That's how you have the refined seer mat on so that you make it. Pretty cool, actually. You don't lose any progress or items, offerings, or add-ons on the PTB whenever you go back to live servers. So, anything's fair game, honestly. Ooh. Bit unlucky. That was 100% a legit guess, because like, I didn't see her with barbecue and chili, and just, I just picked a random generator to go to. You are dead on hook, and I don't see any barbecue and chili value whatsoever. Okay, that's a little bold of you. Complete a generator when you're the last remaining survivor alive. Huh? See by the faint scratch marks on the tree that she ran in this general direction. You were by the paladin? Nope. That's just my wild imagination. I legit have no idea where she is. I have no idea where she went, if she's stealthing there or what. So, okay then. Did you find the hatch? Okay, go. Oh, wait. There's still two survivors left. I thought there was only one left. I must be crazy or just not paying attention whatsoever. Addy is over here. I think she's actually in a locker. I legit think she's in this locker right here. Are you? You're not. But you are still here. Ooh. Okay, off the record, question mark. 
I intentionally missed. I intended to miss. It's everything is going according to plan. Not doubling back. Yep. Continuing holding W. I honestly wonder where the hatch is. Like, I explored a great deal of the map, although I didn't realize there was only one person left alive. So it's been unlucky. And with that being said, that is GG's. Anyways, I think I proved my point, like, of how important aura reading is and how Lethal Pursuer extending the duration of aura reading perks by two seconds is going to be pretty powerful on some killers, like the high mobility ones, such as the Nurse and Blight and Inuit Spirit. And with that being said, we come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, consider leaving a like as it helps promote the channel through YouTube, and consider subscribing for more content. I am E Plus Than 3, and I will see you next time. Goodbye for now.